we wanted to help a lot of, you know, a lot of Nigerians who were impoverished. We wanted to touch on medical. The education, educational system is so bad. But we found that well, there were too many problems. And so we had to sit down and think to ourselves, we need to focus on certain areas. And you know, you shouldn't put your hands in too many things, but I think we, we should put our hands in few things and do them well. To be more effective, we um, go about using um, a lot of NGOs who are already established. And that way they know the land, they know what people need. Um, they know how to get to these villages, how to make the most of what they have. And um, they come to us saying, oh, this is what I have for this area. This is what they need. And if we are interested in it, we will give them a grant. We also have um, uh, people who go out in the field to make sure that the work is being done. And we try as trustees uh, once or twice a year to go out on the field to see what has been done, how many people we're touching, um, what needs, what more needs to be done, trying to maximize what we're doing. In um, our last board meeting, we went to a town just, I think it's a suburb, a suburb of Abuja. Abuja is the capital of Nigeria, but it took us two hours to get there. The roads, there's a, an area you go off-road, and during the raining seasons, you can't get to them. But when we got there, we were um, commissioning a borehole and a 10,000 liter overhead water tank. Once it was commissioned, and um, the, the, the first bucket of water came out from the borehole tap, the excitement of these women's faces, um, the children, the satisfaction of finally seeing clean water, um, not having to walk two hours, two and a half hours, um, with these big, you know, buckets in and in a dirty river. You know, there are challenges. There, there, there are a lot of challenges, but the satisfaction is is much, much greater for us as um, trustees, as philanthropists. We can't give up. I look up to my dad, and my dad's vision. And every day, you know, how he wakes up and he thinks, what more can I give? What more can I do? And um, I think that's the satisfaction I get from being, you know, a trustee in the foundation. Um, he doesn't give up. He, ha he's, he had a vision of what he wanted to do and how he wanted to give back to Nigeria. And that is what I follow and I, I, I look up to him. And you see the different sides of Nigeria. When you grow up in Lagos, you grow up in Abuja, that's not Nigeria. And I tell my friends that. Every time we go out in the field, I come back a, a different person. I come back a changed person because the way I see Nigeria is, you know, the high rise, or the, the nice roads, the nice cars, the nice shops. And you go out and these people can't make ends meet. Um, they live in mud huts. Um, you know, they don't go to school. This is what the life is. The grandfather lives like that. The, the son lives like that. The grandchildren live like that. And it's just a circle that we need to break. Africa is a very big continent. And I think philanthropy in Africa now is coming up. And I, I think it's, uh, Africans are now seeing that Africans can help Africans. Um, we don't have to go out to get help all the time. And um, I think um, philanthropists in Africa are trying to make Africans be, be able to sustain themselves. Once you know our governments are settled and they're all willing to work together, Africa will progress. We just have to get it right.